Well, I've got JS8 Call version 2.1 installed, and the thing I really like about it is the type ahead. I was calling CQ and W6ZKH, ZKH returned uh, my call, and uh, he's given me a signal report. Uh, you can see it in the black there at the top left. And then below that, I sent him a signal report. And I'm bringing up the log because we have to insert the signal reports in the log. It doesn't transfer over from the software. So before I get too far away from those, I like to enter them in. And then I just leave that window open. So I'm sending him my information and... I've got my name and QTH in the information field or using the info button. And I think normally that's for your rig and equipment, but I've got my name and QTH inserted in there. And then after that, it's ascending. You'll see the, the red button there, sending 20 seconds, 19 seconds. I'm still able to type in into the message and I really like that about JS8 call and I think that started in version 2.0 so uh, I like that and there's a few other things I like about it so there you can see in the log I'm going to go ahead and put his name in and his location and I've got re retained comments checked off I could uncheck that You can see that right there, the green and the little telephone next to that call sign, that indicates that he's calling CQ, and you can see it over on the left-hand side. Uh, KF5TEX is calling CQ. So when you see that little telephone indicator, you can go ahead and return uh, his call if you want to make contact with the station calling CQ. And uh, John's uh, sending me a message back. Uh, you'll see it there in the middle with the uh, yellowish or tan background. He's sending his rig information. I've got a, a good copy on him. You can see it in the waterfall. His signal's pretty strong. And then when he finishes making his transmission, you'll see that little, I'm gonna call it a ta-da. It's a diamond shape symbol and you'll see that at the very end. So now I'm using one of my saved macros. And then at the end of that macro, I'm typing in a little information just to personalize it. And you'll see that button that's sending and receiving, that's telling you how many seconds is left. So as I'm typing, it's automatically updating that. So I type more in there, and you can see now there's a minute and two seconds remaining. So if I were to type in even more, it would increase So JS8 call uses a, a normal speed, fast speed, and then a turbo speed, and I'm at the normal speed right now. And at this speed, I have pretty good reception. Uh, the turbo mode, I haven't really tried that too much. I've tried making contacts and haven't been able to yet. But I have made them with the uh, fast, fast speed, and it's it just moves things along a little bit faster, a little bit quicker. I'll show you here in just a minute.
There actually, uh, in this transmission, I am using JS8 fast, and it's 24 words a minute. And that station with a little star next to it, that just indicates that he hears me, and that's the one that I'm in contact with right now. W6ZKH. It's got the little star next to it. So any station over there that has a star next to it, that just indicates that they're hearing you. I'm going to speed up the video just a little bit. You can see down in the waterfall that another station is in there too, right next to us, but it's not really bothering us. And in the waterfall, that wide signal, I believe that's the turbo speed. So I sent him another saved macro that I had and then I went ahead and typed in the 73. So that's a good contact and I'm really enjoying this version of JS8 call. It's a little bit uh, more like PSK 31. So I'm going to check that and make sure everything's in there correctly and then I'll go ahead and hit add to log and when I hit add to log it pops up in MacLogger DX. You'll see it there, and I've got it set to send a tweet out, so I'll just post that. MacLogger DX uploads to uh, my online logs. And you can see it gets all the information in there with the exception of the power. I'll need to go back and edit that. It works really well with MacLogger DX. Okay, that was a near perfect QSO or perfect QSO with John out in California. Okay, let's take a look at JS8 call in the uh, window here. On the left hand side, this box is the band activity, what we're receiving, and this is the directed activity. And as you saw, I was talking to John in California. This is the outgoing message. And when I want to send a message, I just simply uh, either use a macro or I start to uh, type it in. And then in this window over here, these are the calling stations. And this little telephone indicates a station calling CQ. And the little star indicates that's the station that I'm in a QSO with. So uh, down here on this, this row are the macros and uh, you set this, uh, this uh, info macro in the preferences, change the reply in the preferences. So I just go through and when I answer a CQ I hit the reply and then when he comes back I send the signal report and then my info and my info is just my name and QTH and then I move over to the saved macros and I'll send my software, my rig, and uh, anything else that I want to put in there uh, that just helps me to quickly send a message. Uh, there are also a lot of directed messages but the, the list is so long it's hard for me to find it. I do have a, a few that I remember and one of them is the uh, SK, the end of contact. So this does come in handy. And on the left hand side we have the receive level and anywhere between 40 and 60 I found is pretty good. 
when I disconnect my antenna it drops to about 30 so I think that's pretty good now this uh, waterfall you can change the uh, display and I'll have some screen captures on my website so you can have a closer look at this but let's go back to the control this shows the offset that I'm at where my where I'm transmitting and receiving I do have the filter enabled and the center is 1500 uh, the width is 2000 um, the uh, minimum I start at is 500 anything over in this area here this is uh, for people with the, the heartbeat uh, that have that enabled or uh, sending acknowledgments. So, uh, yeah, as I was saying, uh, this section here I stay out of. Um, I transmit over in this area here. And then you have a timing tab, and I played around with this. Uh, I was able to uh, sync my time to a station that was, that was calling CQ. And this will come in handy if, uh, if I'm operating portable and I don't have uh, a real-time clock. Uh, say I'm using my uh, uh, KX2 where you're using a, a portable uh, 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 operation and you don't have uh, internet access so you can't sync your time. This should come in real handy. So uh, yeah, let's see. This is the, uh, this is the power level and I use this to set my ALC on my radio I'm using the uh, ICOM 7610 and having some ALC is just fine with it I try to limit it to about a quarter of the ALC scale same, same thing goes with the ICOM 7300 so I move this up and down to adjust the ALC my power, I set it with the multi knob on the front of the radio. I adjust my power level there, and uh, that that works good for me. I have an article of how I adjust my power level with these digital modes, and it, it, it seems to work real well with me. So, oh, let me point out one more thing up at the top. Of course, we have the frequency, and you change frequency by clicking on it, and you can jump from band to band. You can also set a custom frequency. And then over on the right hand side we have some buttons and I'm in receive mode right now. There's a, When I'm transmitting this will turn red. I've got spot enabled and this is the log button. And this, this button up at the top I can right click on it and it shows the different speeds that you can send and receive at. And I have uh, the simultaneous decoding of all speeds checked and I don't have auto reply checked. I think that about does it. That's just how I, I've been making QSOs with JSA call and uh, the mode of course uh, JS8 and if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions please make them below. I'll have an article on my website www.k0pir.us I already have a couple up on how to get this configured with MacLogger DX. So please have a look at that. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. Also tell your friends. 73 and good DX.